To that breaking news, we brought you at the top of the hour of police shooting in Phoenix. No officers were hurt in this, but there is a suspect in the hospital in critical condition, we are told. Jason Berry is live in that neighborhood where it happened near 111th Avenue in Camelback. Jason. You can see this is still a very active investigation with Phoenix police cars lined up and down the street. All we know right now is a man in his 20s was shot by police inside a home at the end of the block. Our news chopper was over the area around 1030 this morning, shortly after the call went out of an officer involved shooting. We're told one of the homes in this neighborhood is a mental health facility that treats a number of patients. This morning, one of those patients reportedly started acting erratically, making threatening and suicidal statements, even threatened to jump out of a window. Phoenix police were called in to try and calm him down, but authorities say that didn't work. The man allegedly pulled out a knife and went after officers. That's when the man was shot with a taser that apparently didn't slow him down. Moments later, an, an officer opened fire. Officers gave him multiple commands to drop the uh, knife in attempts to de-escalate the situation. The man continued going towards officers, uh, at which point one of the officers involved did use his taser towards the man, striking him. However, the taser was ineffective. The man continued advancing towards the officers with the knife still in his hand. It was at this point that the officer involved shooting took place. We spoke to a number of neighbors out here, and most of them had no idea that a house on their block was being used as a mental health facility. They say it's a quiet neighborhood, and what happened today was quite a shock. Now, we are still working on getting more information on that suspect. The last we heard is that he was rushed to a nearby hospital in critical condition. Officers are expected to be out here for several hours. As soon as we learn more, we'll let you know. Reporting live in the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.